is the Tad Show. Yeah, so Brock Lesnar. So, uh, going to fight Mark Hunt, as I said. So, uh, he was on ESPN yesterday, he being Brock, and uh, talked about this. So, I was wrong, I guess, because I thought on Raw, we would see Paul Heyman via satellite or whatever, where Michael Cole is talking to Paul about Brock. That didn't happen on Raw. It would have been a cool promotion, though. It really would have been. You know, it would have been. That did not happen. But, my friend, Mr. Paul Heyman man I owe a lot to, he took to the great HeymanHustle.com. If you've ever been on Paul's website, you should go on Paul's website and check out all the cool content and stuff he has on there, for those that haven't. We're going to show you a clip right here of an exclusive sit-down that Paul did directly with Brock Lesnar to answer the question I had. Who called who? Who called who? Who is the one who called who? And, and you know... Was it UFC calling WWE? Was it WWE calling uh, Brock to say, hey, Brock, you know, want to do something? Uh, UFC wants to do something here. Um, you know, will you come back and fight? Was it Brock making a call? Was it Brock saying to Vince McMahon, hey, you know, uh, I want to uh, I want to get back into the real fight world and get into that realm. Let's do this. Who was who called who? And, and you know, it, to me... It's like the question that I'm looking at on Twitter here. A rascible rascal at Rondu Karaski. Okay, he tweets us a lot. He said, uh, Brock tells Heyman Hustle, at Heyman Hustle, who called who? It's just here, right here. And he put the link. We'll show a clip right now. Are we ready for this clip? Yes. Of Brock from Heyman Hustle with Paul Heyman. Exclusive sit down. Check this out. Just a few seconds of it. Check it out. It wasn't a hard decision. It wasn't. Dana White didn't call me up for this. I, I made the phone call, so uh, this is, you know, you, you can't get into the octagon half-assedly, uh, nor would I make the call if I wanted to half-assedly get in the octagon, because I'm smart enough. I know how dangerous it is. It's a dangerous sport. So, so that right there, you heard it from Brock Lesnar's mouth himself. He's the one who made the call to Dana White. I think that's really cool that he said that. I did not see the ESPN um, uh, sit down or whatever he did with ESPN. I did not see that. But uh, I got my info right there from HeymanHustle.com. And uh, Paul Heyman uh, did a great job here in the sit down. And thank you uh, uh, for, for Paul doing that because it, it sheds a light on everything. And um, you should watch this whole interview at HeymanHustle.com with Brock Lesnar, with Paul sitting down talking to him. It, it's a different side of Brock Lesnar. Any WWE fans that don't really know Brock or just know the character that you see, the Suplex City thing and all that, watch this interview and you'll get to see the real side of Brock Lesnar. The guy I knew when I was in WWE with him, the guy that I traveled in the car with, that's the guy you'll see, the real Brock Lesnar. He comes off great in this interview because he's sincere and he's honest and, and, uh, and humble. In a great way, Brock comes off because he is. He's a, he's a good dude. You I was know? gonna say I caught part of the uh, ESPN interview with uh, Brock. Did they did they put me over? Uh, no. unfortunately, no. No. no! Okay. What I, happened? I was going to say Brock came across exactly how you described him in the Heyman interview. Really yeah. sincere, really well spoken. It was really cool to see him get a chance to just talk on his own. Yeah, but and you didn't watch the complete Heyman hustle interview. No, right? I only caught a couple minutes. Yeah, I did. I watched the whole thing because I'm an animal, and because uh, I, I I never sleep and I'm working all the time. And this is, uh, you know, I'm telling you right now, watch the whole thing. Go to HeymanHustle.com and check it out.